it's Allison and I wanted to talk about my plastic surgery appointment and I had that almost well it'll be two weeks this coming Tuesday so um, I'm a little late but I wanted to tell you guys about it because I'm excited about it and it's just the next step in my journey and really a lot of our journeys who really had a lot of weight to lose or maybe had just a little and you just have some problem areas that bother you um, I had the appointment on Monday. Wait a minute. It was on Monday. Yeah, I had the appointment on Monday. I'll tell you the rest of that. At 1 o'clock, and I, I know where I want to go, and it's um, Dr. Suber at Foothills Plastic Surgery. Um, this was the same surgeon that Amelia also used and some other people that I know, and I know he is wonderful, um, very knowledgeable, very um, OCD, which I absolutely love. Um and I just think that it would be a great place for me. Um, as far as money-wise, at first I was kind of like, I just don't know. But I also found out that um, what insurance doesn't pay, um, they also have some medical loan programs, the, what, the same type of thing that I use for my surgery. So it is doable. I'm not sure exactly when, when but it is doable. Um, so I went for the, it's the first consultation and Basically, he sits down, him and the assistant, they talk to you and kind of tell you um, what they do and just a little bit about their program and let you ask questions if you want to, but just very down to earth, just very normal and, well, normal for me, and not stuffy and odd and all that. Um, not that I don't love Dr. Nato 210, but not like that. And just very... Um, very knowledgeable and approachable, mainly. Um, so I talked to them and they, you know, told me all this stuff. And they were saying like, well, if you're a candidate, they were telling me about the tummy tuck, how they, they bring it in from, well, let me show you. They bring it in from here to here, but they also bring in from here to here. And if you're a candidate, so in my clothes, hold on. I know it's hard to tell exactly how much skin I have, but trust me, and now trust Dr. Super. Yeah, it's like opening up a can of biscuits. I mean, like, it's like, take off your clothes, boom, hello. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's hilarious. But, um, so I'm thinking to myself, I said, trust me, I'm a candidate. You know, of course. But anyway, um, he, you know, he didn't know. But he knew how much weight I lost, so I guess he could gather that it was going to be a lot. So um, they just, you know, told me an overview, told me things, how they would do it. Um, they would start with the tummy tuck because mine's going to be pretty extensive. And, and yes, I'm a candidate for the whole Mexican hat thing um, where they bring in, you'll have an incision top like a T, sort of, I guess you would, you would say. So they're going to do that first. I was trying to be all like, I'm going to do everything at once and suffer. No, that's not going to happen. And I understand because for safety reasons, and that is one thing that's very important to them is safety, and that's important to me. So we're going to do first from, let me show you again, here to all the way down. Down. And... <laughs> That's first, and that's the worst, they said. So, getting that out of the way, which that's going to make a huge difference for me because that's where I have a lot of skin, the most skin. Um, then, um, my arms... Oh, well, let me go back. So, after we had our little talk, then he's like, okay, take your clothes off. He didn't say it like that, but I'm, I'm giving you the, the Reader's Digest version. And this little paper gown, or it was a paper gown. Me and paper clothes... Mm, not so much. Um, I'd already ripped a rip down the back of it by the time they got back in there, and which was maybe five minutes. Yeah, um, that was weird. But you know, you put it on and it opens in the front, and it's the, his assistant and him. Um, very nice, you know. So I'm doing the whole flash thing. And he's like, and I, I, I guess I thought, I, and they didn't look this way, but I bet they were thinking, wow, I didn't see that coming. And so, um, yeah, so they saw that it was, it was pretty, 
extensive. Yeah, that's the way to put it. But I was 544 pounds, you know, it happens. So anyway, um, they looked and tugged and lifted and all that. And I thought, oh, okay, this isn't that bad. Well, then he tells me that she's going to take the gown from me. So I had on my socks and my Catholic bracelet that sweet, sweet Steve bought for me and a smile. That's it. And yeah, that was difficult. I was uh, pretty self-conscious because I, I was like, is this a porn shoot or what? No, I didn't say that. Anyway, sorry. I'm getting off track. But it was, they, he was taking pictures and telling me, turn this way, turn that way. It was, yeah, it was rough. But it's part of it. It has to be done. So, yeah, and yeah, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, you know, if you were standing there butt naked, buck naked, is it buck or butt? Anyway, so that was that. And he was telling me, you know, just about the procedures and, and what would happen. And he was just talking about, I mean, he, he looked like he was excited, like, project, yeah. You know, and he was like, you know, showing me this and pushing and it was hilarious. But um, I'm glad he's excited about it. I don't care, you know, I hope that he's excited about it and, and sees it as a project because, you know, that will be really great. But after that, he's, we're talking about the boobs and all that. And, man, this is not going to be one of those, ooh, it's going to be hilarious. So go ahead and turn it off. Girls, you need to listen to this. Okay, if you're like me, well, first of all, my arms are horrible. They're horrible. Well, I wanted to do those first, but they're going to do the arms and the boobs at the same time. Well, I was this whole thing like, oh, I don't want no fake boobs. I just want them to lift up what I have. The key word is what I have, um, or keywords. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. He comes up to me, and I'm going to show you what he does. Can you see? He goes, oh, and by the way, this is an illusion. I don't even have this much. It's kind of like rolled up and tucked in. Yeah. So he comes up. I know this is gross. He does this, and he says, we could lift it up like this, but it would still be incomplete. I was like, I started laughing. I said, did you just tell me I'm incomplete in the boobs or whatever I said? And they're cracking up. You know, they're like, it, it basically was saying in a nice way, girl, you ain't got no boobs. You need some. So that's something I got to think about. If I don't want to be flat chested, I have to get some boobs. So we'll see. Um, but that was hilarious. And then they're like measuring it. And I'm like, if you got to measure the length of it this time to do something, I mean, okay, that means your boobies are long. No, boobies should never be long unless you're 80. But anyway, they're measuring and she's writing it down. And I'm like, this is so embarrassing. Then she says, oh, we forgot one. And I was like, I only got two. I know it looks like I got more than two, but I only have two. But anyway, it was fun as it could be. There you go. But it was very um, informative, and I felt good about it. I feel good about him and his practice. So I'm going to go from there, and I'll let you know. Um, he did tell me that I don't have to lose any more weight before I'll, I'll be able to have surgery. And my next video will be my weigh-in, so you'll kind of understand what I mean um, with that. But... Other than that, that's about it for that appointment. And then they had like a, a patient appreciation the next night. And that was neat. They showed some, and it was face stuff and everything, you know, some before and after. And they had dinner and uh, door prizes. And I won some Botox. Uh, okay. And so it was neat. But it was, um, you can tell they really care about the patients and the safety and just the happiness of the patients. So, um, I will put the link for their practice over in the sidebar. And, yeah, check them out, and I will talk again soon. Bye-bye.